Crack the cover trivia. You got a red light. Okay, good. Mine's ticking it, time. It was like on my actual phone. It was like just kind of frozen, so I was confused. But well, it eventually moved. Hopefully it records all of this. <laughs> After today, we went through the Chipotle peppers last week and got no video from me. Today for Crack the Cupboard, we're doing salad cream. Another one of uh, Dr. Pierce's what are we gifts. I don't know if it's a gift. And... It, who who cracked the seal on it? Now, we were having discussion whether or not we should do this because it says refrigerate after opening. Right. And I remember some someone that was in here like wanted to smell it. And so you broke and the I seal. And I think the seal might have been broken. And then it says, you know, obviously after you do that, you're supposed to refrigerate it. So hopefully we don't die. Because I don't know how it's long It's been sitting ago. there for I months. Don't know, I have no idea. So I'm nervous. Should we be doing um, this? Uh, it's under salad cream, Dr. Pierce said, a tasty alternative to mayonnaise, great for egg or potato salads. And for me, I didn't know if it smelled like it went bad because I just think all mayonnaise type things smell bad. So I didn't really well, know. Well, it's similar to Miracle Whip. And to me, they're but the it's same more, thing. No, they're not the same thing. They're not even close. They're both not great. Um, but Miracle Whip is more white. This is more of a tan color. And it's the color that has been in the yeah. squeeze bottle all along. Mm-hmm. But I'm nervous Well, let's now. just get them all right and then we won't have to eat it. Well, one of us still has to eat. <laughs> Not if we get them right. That won't happen, but... If I if you get it right, I have to eat. Oh, that's true. Is this your first time playing the game? Uh... <coughs> okay. We introed the dirt earlier. <laughs> <coughs> I've been sick. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm on cold medicine right now. So am I. Anyway, <coughs> are you going to ask me or what? Uh, what was Mr. T's character's name in Rocky Three? You've asked me this before, and I still don't remember. Um, That's why I know. Salad cream <coughs> man. Clubber Lang. I don't. Do I have to eat a lot? I'm afraid. Is That's that enough. Good enough. That's enough. <laughs> I don't want to do it. That's enough. Because I already don't like this sort of thing to yeah. begin with. <laughs> oh. I don't like it. <laughs> Especially by itself. Ugh. <coughs> um, which, <coughs> it like burns in the back of your throat a little bit. Which Bachelorette came in second place in the first season of The Bachelor? What? Which Bachelorette came in second place in the first season of The Bachelor? Um, I have no idea. I don't know a single Bachelorette ever. <laughs> Trista. Except Trista. It oh, was Trista. Does that count? I said it. Trista. But that, that wasn't really your answer. You're Trista. Like, I don't even know one except Trista. Trista, then, but is I, my answer. Uh, I don't want to. Gosh darn it all the heck. <laughs> you just can't close your mouth around that spoon, I can can't, you? I can't do it. She keeps licking it off the spoon. Because she refuses to close tastes, her mouth around it. Well, and I'm afraid it's going to make me like hurl later because I don't know if it went bad it, or it not. It may have gone bad and we'll get salmonella. <laughs> you have to ask me a question. Oh, uh, yeah. What final irresistible food item causes Mr. Creosote, Terry Jones, to explode in Monty Python's The Meaning of Life? Read the first part again. What final irresistible food item causes Mr. Creosote... To explode in Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. Salad cream. A wafer thin mint. Ah. Uh. <laughs> You're eating a lot of that. Okay, question. Um, what sport does a shredder do? What sport does a shredder do? Mm hmm. A shredder. It's from Miss Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> He does karate. Um, a shredder. I'm going to go with uh, rugby. Snowboarding or skateboarding? Oh, I should have known that. So if I had said just snowboarding, that would have counted, right? Um, it said or. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Mm, I'm more <laughs> nervous than I should be for this. It's not that I hate it. It's just it's Got all a in my something right here. 
on your chin. There you go. Saving it's, it for it's, later. It, it's not bad. It's just the thought that it might be poisonous <laughs> that's bothering me right now. Okay. What appropriately titled David Bowie song became his first Billboard number one single? Oh, booger face. Appropriately titled. Is it called like number one or something? All I can think of is fashion. I don't like the aftertaste. Fashion. Why can't I think of any other David Bowie songs? You're done, right? Yeah. Fame. Fame. I'm gonna live forever. That, not if that fame. the salad cream doesn't kill me, cause it might have gone bad. <laughs> um, I don't you're, wanna. You know, you're hanging on longer than I thought you would. <laughs> um, who did Tisha Campbell file sexual harass- harassment charge against in 1997? Martin Lawrence. Dang it, that was too easy. They were on a show together. I didn't know. I, I that was just a guess. They were on Martin. Oh. Martin. Okay. Uh, which culture is Richard Gere an active spokesman for? Culture? Isn't he like a Buddhist? Is that cult? I thought it was a religion. Is that it? Is that wrong? No, that's is wrong. That- <laughs> You're in the vicinity. Uh, uh, I don't know. Can I? Just tell me. Tibetan. I don't like it. You but can I quit. don't want to lose. <laughs> what well, is Zoolander's first name? Derek. I quit. <laughs> <laughs>